Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay and today I'm doing a reaction review to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Remake. This is for PlayStation Showcase 2021. Let's check out the trailer here. Here we go. Peace is a lie. That is what the Sith believe. <laughs> they promise power. Now they wield it. Ooh. We face the greatest Sith in generations. Oh! They that was must good. Darth Revan. <laughs> that looks pretty good for a small trailer or teaser. A legend being made for PS5. <laughs> I would like to also clarify this game is also coming to PC as well. Now, for, th for those who don't know about this game, who had never played it, this was one of the original PC game. This is a PC game way back in the day, way back. And this was a good Star Wars game. There was a story where you pick, you customize your character, and you go through the story. You can choose a soldier, a scout, or a scoundrel, a scoundrel, male, female, depending on what you are, male, female. Okay, so, and you progress in the story, which is pretty much caught up after in the story in Star Wars, the, the, the Jedi and half they were some Jedi were in when the Republic were in the war with the Mandalorians. They didn't look like the Mandalorians, what we've seen in the Star Wars universe, but they we get the idea they fought the Mandalorians, conquer they were conquering, Mandalorians were conquering worlds and stuff, till the Republic and Jedi Knights were involved, two Jedi Knights and others, uh, Revan and Malak got involved and they turned the tide in the war. What happened is we don't know what happened. And they come back as full Sith Lords and they pretty much declare war on the Republic. And now the Republic's been weakened by the war, the Republic's on board. You had this new Sith Empire's pretty much almost kind of take control again, you know, obviously. And it's up to your character to stop Malak and the rest. Because we don't, supposedly, Revan is dead. He was killed by Darth Malak. Now, for that's basically what the story is. But for those who don't want to hear the rest, what really happens in the game, I suggest you end the video now. So take care, stay safe, stay humble, and be a blessing. I'll explain the rest of Star Wars: The Knights of Republic, Old Republic, the first game, not the remake. The remake looks really good. There's from the little bits of pizza they keep it kind of the same, just newer graphics and stuff. Maybe you can play as Red Darth Revan in the beginning of the story to up to he got portrayed in the story till he got to his death, to his end basically. So, for those who stick around, want to know about Star Wars: The Next Revive, the first one. Basically, you are playing as a, like I said, you could be a soldier scout. And you're on one of the Republic ships being attacked by the Sith Empire. Sith Empire, and it also has a Jedi, Jedi named Bachelor Shin, who has a unique Force ability called Battle Meditation. You can change the tide of any battle. So you can use it so they attack the ship. So basically, you and another guy, Cartho Nasi, so they go and they get crashed the ship. On Taurus, where you meet Mission Leo and Harbaugh, your job is to get rescue Batch. Below, she is being captured. You have all these, these little missions and stuff you do rescue her once you win the swoop race. Kind of like a, it's not like a pod race, but you basically you, it's a beat the time time trial. You just run to one point to the track, and yeah, you have boosters and stuff like that. So, you do that, you face that. You face you rescue Batch, and then your job is to get off world. You run to a um, Mercenary name, Canis, Canis Order, I believe his name Can. I knew it's Canis. I can't remember. I can't remember. He was a. Uh, he was one of the uh, Mandalorians who fought in the war and stuff like that. He's one of Mandalorians. So 
he tells you about a guy who's like the he's you know, like job of the hub, but he's not job of the hub. He's in control. Here's the exchange. He works for the exchange, and you steal his ship, the Ada Hawk. It's kind of like the Millennium Falcon. So basically, you have these visions. You're connected to the Force and stuff. You travel to Dantooine. You did some training there. You find out the Star Wars, and your job is to gather missing pieces of Star Wars with Revan and Malak or after. So basically, you go four planets. Tatooine, Mana, Korriban, and Kashyyyk. So once you get all the maps that's revealed that you are Darth Revan, the Jedi had taken you, you are not prisoner, they don't believe in killing prisoners, stuff like that. They erase your mind, place your mind with the character you chose. So right there, spoiler, <laughs> which makes it interesting. It's a really good gameplay, it's an interesting story. So when that happens, Bashley gets taken, captured, turned to the dark side. She gets tortured by Rev by Malik. So it's up to you to decide. Or fate. You can turn back to the dark side or it's to continue the path of redemption on the light side. And how the game plays. Eventually you face, you find all pieces of Star Wars. And it depends on which side you're on. You basically, the main or probably forces come to aid. At least they destroy the rest of the Star Wars. Or they did the end of the main destroy. It depends on how you play. So this was a really good game. The second version of this one was not that great. It wasn't. <clears throat> it wasn't like the first one. You see the familiar characters, but these are new, like this second one, new characters and stuff like that. But I like the first one better than the second one. So I'll pick it up just like this. He said. So that's pretty much it of Star Wars: The Old Republic. Like I said. It, I don't know what all the changes they did with the remake. I hope it's they keep the same. Maybe you could play Darth Revan, you know, when he's starting out. Get a little bang, a couple missions, like a total mission until they end up being betrayed by uh, Darth Malak. So basically, what happened was Revan's ship was aborted by all the Jedi boarding team, including Bastra. They defeat all the other Sith, and Revan's the last one staying. Oh, Malak can do this. This is an opportunity for him to betray his master, which he did. Fire on his ship, but it didn't kill him. He was pretty much knocked out cold. Bashula created a great help preserve his mind, and they basically connected the Force bond to her and Revan. So they come back and they reprogram his mind to a soldier and stuff like that until they finally found out, oh, yeah, Revan is still alive, but he's on the Jedi side, or you can have him turn to the dark side, the Sith side. So, it's a cool game. I'm looking forward to the remake, so I'm just going to stop mumbling and talking about Star Wars. That's the Republic remake. It was good. If you don't go play it, go try it out, or wait for the remake. It's up to you. But I suggest this is one of the hands down, one of the games that were really good. Really good. Anyway, if you like my reaction, please hit a like comment and also please subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it i thank all my subscribers for subscribing liking commenting sharing and viewing without you i won't be doing these so thank you everybody hope you have a safe and wonderful tuesday and i'll see you next time take care stay safe stay humble and be a blessing